everybody. This time around, the question is, how can I get moving? And this is a fair question. Right now, it's pretty hard to get motivated to get off the couch when there's a lot of pressure to stay on that couch and watch Netflix and do all of those things. And let's be clear, you absolutely should stay home right now because of the quarantine and all that. But there's a difference between quarantining and not being motivated. The question, how can I get moving, deals with the idea that, you know, we've talked about the fact that when you play the video game on your phone where you're lining up fruit or whatever, it triggers the same part of your brain. You get the same serotonin hit or whatever as you would if you actually got something accomplished. And so at the root of this question that has come up a lot lately, at the root of this question is, okay, well, if my brain doesn't know any better, how do I find the wherewithal, the moxie, to actually do things if my brain doesn't know the difference. How do I do that? And at the root of that is this belief. And here's how to unpack this. There's a belief that doing things that are, let's say, meaningless, that don't actually get you anywhere. When you play the video game, you go to the next level of the game, but that's about it, right? Doing things that are meaningless consequenceless, and notice how meaning and consequence are right there locked in together. Doing things that are consequenceless and meaningless feels safe. If you stay on your couch and play Candy Crush or whatever, it feels safe. And so part of the way to get yourself motivated, to get moving, has to do with understanding that safety is not all that safe. You know who's safe? You know who has a completely predictable life where they are guarded by walls and security and cameras and bars and everything else? People in jail. You don't really want to be that safe. And the truth is that you are a dynamic being. You are built for speed. And when you think about it, doing the safe thing, like let's say not asking for the raise, not applying for the job in the first place, not asking for the phone number, not sharing your heart and telling somebody that you love them, doing the things that feel safe are going to make you miss out on all of the most important experiences of life. Meaning and consequence go hand in hand. If you want a meaningful life, You've got to be willing to face the idea that this is a decision that actually has weight. Safety, quote unquote safety, is not all that safe. But if you want to get to a place of security where things are going to be okay, the secret is to actually get moving. Because here's the thing. If you put yourself out there in one way or the other, either you'll learn or you won't. And if you don't learn, all that's going to happen is you're going to get an opportunity to learn again. That's the thing. Not only is safety not all that safe, but here's the deal. Life has a way of turning up the volume. You are here to learn things, right? That's the deal. There is an educational edict. It's why you're here. If you don't learn a lesson in life, you're going to orbit it. You're going to go around and around again until you finally learn that lesson and you can step up to another level of existence. You get to do new things and solve new problems and do bigger things and be a bigger person. And you know this when you think about your life. You tried to learn a lesson in a way and maybe it just didn't click for you. Maybe you didn't hear it the way you needed to hear it and so on. And so things got louder and more intense and maybe you learned and maybe you didn't. There's that thing that happens. And so what I'm trying to tell you is stop thinking about safety as something that happens through stagnation. It ain't safe. You're going to lose out on everything that's important to you unless you keep moving. Your life's like a shark. You know, you got to keep moving. And on the other hand, if you don't keep moving, you're going to get the lesson at an increased intensity and an increased intensity and an increased intensity until you finally get off your butt and do whatever it was. So you might as well be the kind of person who has a beginner's mind, a kindergarten mind, an educational mind to start with. If you decide that the things that are going on in your life are there to teach you something and you get engaged in your own learning, you will tend to learn your lessons the easy way instead of having to get knocked around by life before you learn the thing you could have learned a couple of years ago, a couple of heartbreaks ago. So how do I get moving? Understand that moving is the safest thing you can do. If you unlock that idea, if you get done with that old foolish idea that safety has to do with holding still, amazing things will happen for you. How do I get moving? Remember that. 
And look, you don't have to solve all the world's problems in one day. Solve a problem. Fix something. It's a wonderful thing when you actually get out there and do something. Find a little way, like I always say, find a little way to stand up for love and you will get hooked on that feeling. So thanks for sending in those questions. Keep them coming. Thanks for getting off the couch and getting going with your life. We are all in this together and we need you. And I need your questions. You can send them in by uh, posting on social media, by on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag AskDieter. You can email me. Go to my website, waypastok.com, and there's a great contact form. There's a lot of ways to get a hold of me. Keep them coming. And please like and subscribe and share. I'm counting on you. You got this.